With that, let's bring in NBC10 political commentator Sue O'Connell. Sue, kick us off with a gut check, right? From a Politico perspective, how do you feel about Walls and, and what does he bring to the ticket now? I think it's a very good choice, Colton. If I'm using a word here, I'm going to use the word if. If some swing state independent and unreliable Democratic voters who may generally agree with candidate Kamala Harris, but they see some sort of real or imagined barrier that's keeping them from voting for her, Walls may be the antidote to that. Look, as we've just discussed, his politics are progressive, but he hunts. He's a gun owner. He's a football coach. He tried and failed to buy Taylor Swift tickets, just like the rest of us. So if Kamala Harris is brat summer, Walls is Midwestern dad core. All right. Well, when Hillary Clinton picked Tim Kaine as her running mate back in 2016, he was sort of meant to soften her image up, right, as they tried to brand them sort of like America's dad, that sort of thing. You think the Harris campaign is going to do the same to Mr. Walls, or will they sort of want him to play attack dog, as we've sort of already been seeing him doing out there? So the thing about Walls is he, he actually already comes with the skills and characteristics to be America's dad and the attack dog at the same time. He doesn't need a makeover or rebranding or need to be sold to the American public. He is who he has been for decades. And he is, as one Boston politician said to me today, pithy. Waltz is the person who first said that Trump and Vance were weird, and it stuck. So I think Waltz is what we're going to see and what we're going to get. Well, let's talk about the Trump-Vance team, right? Mm -hmm. Because they've already been calling Waltz the most extreme running mate pick in history, right? Is that just politics, or is Tim Waltz really that left of center here? Well, basically, it's more that the Trump-Vance team was caught a little flat-footed again, I think. Of course, there are reports that... Trump and Vance were preparing to run against Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro. So there's some reframing and scrambling happening here. But look, there's no doubt about it. Waltz is progressive. He was once, as we just saw, asked about how he felt about being uh, labeled a liberal by conservative. And he said, you know what, I'm proud of that. I am proud to be a liberal if that's what they want to call me. So I think we're going to see more of that happy warrior on the campaign trail. Yeah, he said something like, what a monster. Kids right. are eating and having full bellies so that way they can go and learn and women can make their own health care decisions. Right. Um, yeah. So anyhow, Sue, thank you so much as always for your insight. And of Thanks, course, everyone, Colton. you can watch Sue O'Connell on At Issue every Sunday during the Olympics. It airs on NECN. You can also watch it on our digital platforms.